Hi there, AZ Bill 3433 here again. On my last alcohol stove video, I showed you at the end of that video the three separate fence post covers and making uh, alcohol stoves from them. Uh, yesterday, what I did is I actually tested the medium one or the center one, uh, and uh, I did it in three different configurations. The first configuration was without the donut. And, without, and with pushing the center wick all the way down to even with the top of the stove. And to that end, when we had the water at uh, two cups of water at 63 degrees, we got to 210 in 12 minutes and 15 seconds. It kind of stalled there for a while, so I had to refuel. And it finally got to 212 at 15 minutes and 24 seconds. Not all that great. But really, you're not looking for it to boil water in that type of configuration. That normally would be for just simmering or whatever, possibly even dry baking. The next one was taking this center wick and actually extending it up uh, to its normal position, but without, again, without the donut on. To that end, at, with the two cups of water at 64 degrees, we got to 212 at 9 minutes and 33 seconds. Not bad, but not all that great either. But again, that would possibly be utilized for dry baking or for simmering or whatever. The next one was using it with a, a um, <clears throat> donut on it and the center wick in the same position it was on the center test. But I was using this particular donut on it, which is actually made for a one inch center hole. And this is actually a three quarter center hole. <clears throat> so I don't think it really worked all that great. So. What we're going to do today is we're going to rerun that test today and I'm going to show you how that goes and uh, what the flame pattern looks like and we'll run that test today and let me get the camera all set up and we'll be right back. Okay, we're now at the 208 and we're running just a little over six minutes to 10. 212. twelve at um, six minutes and it's a little hard to read, like I said, this is kind of jazzed up on the screen. Six minutes and 32 seconds, which is a pretty good time, which is not a bad time. Much better than I did yesterday with the <coughs> wick that had the one inch center hole. It just didn't, just didn't work very well. Um, the one issue that I do see, which has kind of got me perplexed, is that I, it looks like the flame itself is a little bit more yellow than I have experienced in the past on some of the other stoves, but this looks this will look a little bit better right now. Um, I did one refuel at about the 415 mark, and uh, but that's not too bad either. That's pretty good too. This this is running much better than the one did yesterday with the like I said with the other donut on it. There were some issues yesterday, and uh, once this burns out and everything else, I think I will be back. I'm going to reset the camera up so I can explain some of the situations I came across yesterday and maybe look at some of the solutions. So as soon as this burns out, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I briefly want to discuss, you know, what I found when I ran the two tests that I didn't show you. You did see this past test. But when I ran the test with this wick pushed all the way down, level with the top of the stove itself, and the, the problem that I saw that when I filled it and was at the top, I had a lot of run out on the top of the stove, which I think is pretty dangerous. Uh, especially, I mean, when you're in a situation here where you're testing it and you may have muted light and everything else, but if you're out and you're running this in a daylight situation and, you, and that runs out to the edge and maybe even goes over, that's fairly dangerous. So I, I don't think that that particular setup and configuration is really a good configuration. Now, with it extended like this, I didn't have any problem with it. As long as you're careful and you watch the, you know, what the burn looks like on the, the center wick, I don't think you would have trouble to push down all the way. Uh, I don't think that's a really good idea to do that. And I would kind of shy away from doing that. To that end, I've always had, in, in one of my videos you saw that I had a, a, a drip ring on one of the recent uh, stoves that I built. I'm almost thinking about, I've got these three built, I have three extras back here of the uh, <clears throat> fence post covers, tops, and I'm thinking about how I may utilize 
you know make a different one so I have this can it's a spray can you know mousse or whatever it is that you can get from your wife or from some friends and it really kind of fits pretty good right on to, to the end if you were to take off a portion of the bottom of this can put a hole in it and then epoxy it to the top of this can of course you've taken this part of it off <clears throat> I think that would restrict and not allow if you had to donut it in with the center wick that you would actually be able to retain any excess type of uh, fuel that may you know may come out and that you're, you're not aware of so I'm thinking about doing that one for this one now for the larger ones the other two this is actually just a Bud Light aluminum Bud Light bottle it's a scrap piece that I have but if you look how that fits onto the top of this one it looks looks pretty good it fits almost flush so you could do the same thing here this would of course be a little bit narrower it wouldn't be quite this thick and then also on this one here it uh, fits in here and it might extend over to the edge here a little bit um, this one here kind of goes inside I'm not too sure how well that would work or maybe found another can Certainly, if you can find somebody to save these cans where you find them. Um, I don't know about that, but those are all kind of things you can look and see, and I may do that with these. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Now, when you make, now you saw the one recently where I cut, and I was going to make the Trangia um, for the West Wind, kind of, you know, the uh, wick stove. This is what I cut it from. Now, <clears throat> don't throw these away. I mean, I, I, I keep these. I haven't cleaned this one up and taken the burrs off. But what you can do with these, and here's actually a piece of that little centerpiece that I put into my wick stoves. Uh, that kind of, you know, you can put it on the inside. And uh, it creates that link between, on that uh, drip ring stove, it kind of put a link between the upper burner and the lower burner. I keep these scrap pieces also, and I have quite a long length. But what you can do with those, and let me take this out and show you quickly. Don't want to take too much time on this video. But with your carbon felt, with this cleaned up and nicely deburred and everything else, you can take and make this like a cookie cutter. And what you would normally do is take the cookie cutter top, or bottom actually, and just kind of rotate this around. Of course, it's got burrs on it now, so it's not going to rotate well. And if you work this around and work it around on a solid surface, you actually get use it as a cookie cutter and you get whatever size ring you want. Now I'm going to probably use this because what I didn't tell you on the burn test that I did both yesterday and today, I did have a carbon felt pad underneath both, all the burners because I was sitting on a that metal tray and I really didn't want it to be influenced by heating up the metal tray and inducing some additional heat up inside the stove. So. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a, a nice pad that I can probably use almost all my stoves for and uh, it will have a carbon felt on the bottom and it, it'll be for both heat transfer and also for cold transfer if you got a situation where you're backpacking or camping and you won't get that cold from a rock or from a bench or anything else come back up into your stove and influence the heat. So anyway that's uh, I think what I'm going to do next is maybe do a burn test on this stove and I'm going to do this one also in this kind of configuration um, and see what it looks like. I, I, don't, I think I only did one on both of these so we'll, we'll do a burn test and do a video on both of these. So until next time, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, please let me know. Bye bye.